LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. T minus fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Ignition. Lift off. Go Falcon. Go hunting. ISPE. Vehicles pitching downrange. Nominal first stage chamber pressures. Successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 from Launch Complex 39A Power at the Kennedy nominal. Space Center. We're carrying the Ixby satellite into an equatorial orbit and we just throttled down the nine Merlin 1D engines in preparation for the next event. That's the point of max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. That coming up in about 10 seconds. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. So again, those three events coming up in succession, Miko, main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then SES-1. And this view, looking down on the Merlin-1D engines from the first stage, you can see the plume expanding. First stage engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. So those three events successful, main engine cutoff, stage separation, Left-hand side of your screen, you can see a view of the first stage deploying its grid fins. The second stage on the right-hand side of your screen, we've got a shot. Fairing separation confirmed. Of the Merlin vacuum engine glowing uh, as it continues its ignition to carry XB into orbit. There's confirmation of the fairing deploy, the XB satellite now getting directly exposed to the vacuum of space. The second stage uh, is getting to a part of the atmosphere with very low density, so we don't need to carry those fairing halves anymore. So if you're just joining us, welcome. We're about minutes and 20 seconds into today's mission. Acquisition of signal for Mina. On your screen is a view of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. It's uh, completing its first of two planned burns to take the XB satellite into an initial parking orbit. We had an on-time liftoff at 1 a.m. Eastern time. The first stage that carried the second stage uh, this far separated and is on its way back to planet Earth. Its next major activity will happen at about T plus six minutes and 20 seconds. And that'll be for the entry burn. And back engine cutoff. Where it'll ignite a few of its engines to slow down in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere. Now, during the entry burn, we'll relight three of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. That'll start with the center engine, followed shortly after by uh, two of the side engines. That'll slow down the vehicle as we pass back into Earth's atmosphere. And we need to slow down on the first stage to reduce the entry forces, which helps us recover and reuse that first stage. Reusability is a key part stage two on nominal trajectory. of lowering the cost of space flight which enables more investment into the critical scientific hardware and research. And those brand new fairing halves will also re-enter Earth's atmosphere for the first time. And we've heard periodic call-outs that we are seeing nominal performance and following a nominal trajectory. Stage one FTS is saved. On the second stage. Stage one entry burn startup. So left-hand side of your screen, you can see the grid fins and you can see the plume from the entry burn. At this point, we are firing three of the Merlin 1D engines. And uh, we're decelerating the first stage, but we're still going pretty fast. 
So as we're flying into the Earth's atmosphere, that soot is actually getting kicked back, excuse me, the plume is getting kicked back. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. Onto the first stage. Nominal shutdown of the entry burn. The next activity for the first stage will be the landing burn. Second stage continuing to look nominal. Now the engines on both the first and second stage are different. The Merlin engines on the first stage are optimized for sea level thrust, but the Merlin vacuum engine that you see on your screen is optimized for vacuum. Stage one, landing burn. We've got landing burn startup on the first stage. Left-hand side of your screen is a shot from the drone ship. Nominal Stage orbit. one, landing leg deploy. And correction, that's a shot from the first stage. And on the right-hand side is a shot from the drone ship. We've deployed the landing legs, hopefully for a soft touchdown on just read the instructions. Stage one, landing confirmed. And that, that is a 97th successful recovery of a first stage on our drone ship named Just Read the Instructions. This particular first stage uh, having scored fifth, five flights under its belt. Now the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage on your screen is now embarking on its first coast phase and it's in its nominal orbit. So after this coast phase, we'll light the Merlin vacuum engine for a second time to put it into the final circular orbit for payload deployment. We'll see you back here in about 20 minutes, but in the meantime, enjoy the space jams and the views of the stages. Welcome back to our webcast or XB satellite for our customer NASA. So that uh, second burn called second engine start number two coming up shortly. And back startup. So there's ignition of the second stage engine. Now the initial orbit that the first stage, uh, excuse me, the second stage went into, put it at about a 28 degree inclination um, with a high apogee and a fairly low perigee. Okay. This burn is taking us down to zero inclination. That means we'll be flying over the... Nominal MVAC cutoff. So with that, the second stage engine, the Merlin vacuum engine has shut down. The launch team will be reviewing the orbital parameters. Nominal orbit insertion. And with that call out, we are in the expected circular orbit right above the equator, about 600 kilometers above the Earth's surface. surface. Now, as a reminder, the XB satellite is still attached to Falcon 9's second stage. We've got payload deployment coming up at about T plus 33 minutes. Now, if you're just joining us, we had an on-time launch at about 1 a.m. Eastern time, followed by successful ascent, then stage separation. We successfully recovered our first stage, and we've completed two second stage burns. Uh, and the booster, and actually there's a, a live shot of the second stage and the XB satellite above planet Earth, currently over Africa. Payload separation confirmed. So there's confirmation of payload separation. The XB satellite floating away from Falcon 9's second stage. And with that, it's uh, gonna end our webcast coverage for today. So we wanna give a big thanks to NASA for entrusting us with today's mission, SpaceX's fifth NASA science mission to date and the second in the last couple of weeks. We also wanna give a big thanks to the range and the Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again for the next launch.